Welcome to a new video from Excel Analysis Series PQB or Power Query Basics. This video PQB07 split columns to rows. We're going to see how we can transform chaotic data. This is the first video to talk about data transformation. In the previous seven videos, we were discussing how we can extract data. We saw how we can extract data from the same workbook, how we can extract data from another workbook, from CSV or text files, how we can extract data from folders, and also from access database, and finally, from the internet. If you want to watch the series from the beginning, you can go down in the description section. You will find the link. You can use it to start watching the series from the beginning and also you find the same link on top of the screen right now in this video we are going to solve an issue the issue is that we have all invoice data came in one column meaning that the invoice number the amount and month name all in one cell not only this more than one month in the same column as well and the number of invoices per customer is variable so some customer they will have one invoice some customers have three five we don't know it's variable and is unknown for us and the requirement is to split column with consistent data types and finally report customer invoicing using a pivot table in this video we are going to see how we can separate labels from the values we are going to use a split column by delimiter to rows we are going to use a split column by digit to non-digit and split column by non-digit to digit and finally how we can split column by number of characters and at the end we are going to see how we can add more invoices or more data and the update will be with one click if you want to follow along while watching the video or even if you want to practice after watching the video please go down in the description section you will find the link please use it to download the excel file and also use the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified with the new videos in our practical example today you can see here we have two columns of data the first one containing the customer id and the other one containing invoice details and if we have a closed look inside the invoice details you can notice that we have more than invoice in the same row not only this invoice information contains the invoice number like what we have in the first row here inv-721 all of this is the invoice number then we have a semicolon and the amount 9212 then dash and the name of the month january then we have a space and we start another invoice till march we have here another space and then another invoice and space so we have in this row four invoices not only this the number of the invoices in the same row or in the same cell is not consistent so we have four invoices in the first record the second row we have six invoices we have here like five invoices here we have only three and all that you can see here is a very chaotic and unorganized data the requirement is to put this in a nice format when we have the invoice number in a separate column the amount in a separate column and finally the name of the month in a separate column so we can report on this data so we need to use power query to ease and automate this complicated job so while selecting any cell inside the data range i'm going to use the shortcut Control t to convert this data into a table format it will open this small dialog box asking you or confirming the data range and asking you if you have headers in this range and yes i have headers i'm going to check this and click on ok excel will convert this directly into a table format from table design ribbon i'm going to the left side and give a name to this table let me call it input and enter and i want to use power query power query in the data ribbon and on the left hand side i will find the get and transform section which is the power query i'm going to use this icon from table or range i'm going to use this icon to push my data into the power query editor once i click on this icon the power query editor will launch 
inside the power query editor i can see my two columns in the center area and on the right hand side the query settings it starts with the name of the query which inherited from the name of the table i'm going to change this to output enter and then i have the applied steps i have only two applied steps first one is the source when excel connected to my table input and then excel try to automatically detect the data type but i don't need this step for the moment so i'm going to use the red x and delete it now i have only one step which is the source looking into the data i have only two columns as we saw in the excel sheet i have the customer id which is no problem all the problems that i have inside the second column which is invoice details as you can see here i have multiple sets of data related to each invoice each set contains the invoice number then semicolon and then the amount and then dash and then the name of the month at end of the name of the month you have a space and then another set of data related to the next invoice so you can see here i have four invoices in the first row what i want to do i want to have every invoice at least in one row so i want to take the second one and put it below the first one and then have the third one and put it below them and so on and so forth and of course i need also the customer number say for the first one which is ending by 500 i want this to be repeated four times each time i have invoice from this line i have the same customer number in front of each of these four invoices in order to do this let me start by selecting the header of this column and from the home ribbon i'm going to transform section and then the split column button i'm going to click it will open the menu of the split column let me select this time by delimiter and because i want to separate each invoice so i'm going to use the delimiter between each invoice in this case it will be the space each set of invoice data separated by a space here so i want to use the delimiter space i can just select it from the drop down menu here i'm going to select space and then i want to split at each occurrence of the delimiter so if i have four spaces actually here three spaces it will separate this uh, column into three and also if you look at the advanced option here there's a very good option that we are going to use let me click on this arrow it will open the advanced option i can select between splitting the column into columns or rows yes we can split the column into rows let me select this one and i'm going to click on ok and let's see what will happen yes this is exactly what we want we have the first customer id ending by 500 repeated four times one two three four and i have the four invoices separated here as you can see here and the table expanded into 48 rows instead of the 10 rows that, that we started with at the beginning now we can look at the applied steps we now have three steps source split column by delimiter the, the one that we just did and the last one again a change type it's already generated by excel however i will get rid of this for the moment because i'm going to change all the types at the end of the transformation process so now as you can see here i have each invoice in a separate line but all the information still together i have the invoice number and then semicolon and then the amount and then dash and then the name of the month i want to separate each one of them in a separate column i'm going to select the invoice details column and again i'm going to use split column again by delimiter this time my delimiter will be semicolon so i'm going to select semicolon from the drop down again each occurrence of the delimiter and then click on ok you will see here the invoice number separated and again i have another column called invoice details.2 but because excel tried to detect again the type of this column so uh, it's tried to be clever and converted into a date type so i'm going to again get rid of this step so now i have the amount and dash and then the name of the month in one column again let me try to separate this i'm going to select 
the invoice details dot two. This time I can use digit to none digit what this means if you look at this column here i have four digits and then dash if i use digit to non digit at the end of the nine the fourth digit the separation will happen and then the dash and jan together will be in a separate column let me do it digit to non digits now i have the amount in a separate column and then dash and the name of the month together let's try to take out the dash I'm going to select invoice details dot two dot two. This time I can use by number of characters. I need to separate only one character from the left. So I'm going to select one in this dialog box and once as far left as possible and click on OK. The dash now in a separate column. I can just select it, right click and delete or remove. Now I have all the information in separate columns let me double check the data types this one abc which is fine this one one two three whole number let me convert it to decimal number invoice abc which is fine and finally customer id abc one two three meaning any so let me change it to text and now the final step is to change the headers so let me call the first one invoice number and enter second one will be the amount double click on the header amount and enter last one will be the name of the month so i'm going to type month and enter now you are ready you can just load we're going to go to home close and load close and load two the power query editor will be closed and the import data window will pop up let me select table and existing worksheet i'm going to select this sheet output on the top left and i'll click on ok the query and connection pane will open and the 48 rows loaded let me go to output sheet i have my data here clean and nice let's prepare a quick pivot table and i'm going to use the keyboard shortcut alt and v I need the pivot table to be in the existing worksheet. Let me put it beside the output table and click on OK. I have a pivot table created and it gives an automatic name pivot table one. Let me change it from pivot table analyze on the left hand side. I'm going to name it invoice report and enter. Let me create a quick report. I'm going to take the amount in the values, right click, number format, currency, zero decimal places and OK. Month in the column, customer ID in the rows. Let me also separate the invoices below the customer numbers. So I have each customer number and all the invoices related to this customer. Very nice report coming out of a very chaotic data as you can see here not only this i have some more data for the rest of the year so i can i can see here the month of december september so this is the second half of the year i can just select Control c to copy I'm going back to customer data tab the first empty row below the table Control v to paste the table range will be expanded automatically. Let me go to output sheet. Let me check the filter. I have only six months here. Right click and refresh. Check the filter again. You have the 12 months. Go to the pivot table. Right click and refresh. Or you can use Alt F5. The pivot table refreshed. And you have all the data inside the new pivot table fantastic job very quick and easy all the data updated why because all the steps are saved inside the power query when i added new data just couple of refresh and all the information updated into report that's all for today and finally please subscribe put this thumb up if you like the video and leave a comment so i can get benefit out of your comments Thank you very much for your time and see you in next video and bye.